Nelson Adufe Samuel says, BK Osa, do you think it's possible for election and campaign uh, can hold without violence? I think th those courts in the act should be dealt with within 48 hours. Yes, we have to, we have to be very decisive against uh, apostles of violence. Politicians who preach violence at their campaign grounds, they need to be severely dealt with. Our laws, if we need to amend our laws to make the punishment for this category of people more severe, then we have to do it. If the punishment is severe, then it will serve as a deterrent to our people. But what do we see? People rig elections, they get away with it. People resort to violence on elections, they start smash ballot boxes, they burn INEC offices, we don't arrest them, we don't catch them. So, of course, they would think that there's nothing wrong in resorting to violence. We have to punish bad behavior. We have to find a way to ensure that these undesirable elements do not get away with the recklessness that they demonstrate. We must make sure that they don't get away with, uh, with uh, uh, the violent combustions that they are creating all over the place. It is when people can see that they will not escape punishment after committing certain crimes, that is when those people, people will sit up and decide to behave like normal human beings. Otherwise, a lot of our people will continue to behave in an animalistic manner because they think that nothing will happen. They think that nobody will do anything to them. They can bribe the police. They can bribe the soldiers and the, whatever they do, whoever they kill, they get away with it. So it, 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 it has to stop, really. We want an election that is not just free and fair and credible, but an election or a set of elections that are violence-free. We don't hear about people killing one another over elections in the UK. We don't hear about it. That is what we want to see in our country. And I know that we'll get there someday. But everybody must play his own part in ensuring that we get to that Nigeria of our dream. And that dream, the realization of that dream is possible.